What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing a super cute zero waste Christmas DIY reindeer. This is a great Christmas craft to do if you have kids at home and it's also perfect for the big kids. And I have no doubt that you will have all, if not most of the materials that we need lying around your home. So let's get started. For your cork reindeer, you will need glue. Three corks per reindeer. Pom-poms of various sizes and colors. Some ribbon. Black or brown pipe cleaners. Any tiny little bead that you can get your hands on that will act as your reindeer's eyes. A pair of scissors, a cutting tool. I have actually raided the toolbox for this one and we are all set. We're going to start off and make the legs for our reindeer. So I'm going to take one of the corks and I'm going to have it down the middle. If you are younger, please don't forget to get your parents help with this. And that will leave us with two equal sized halves. I don't want my reindeer legs to be super tall, so I am just going to trim them a little bit, as you can see there, maybe a little less than a centimeter. I'm then going to go ahead and cut that half in half. So as you can see, our legs are starting to take shape. And then we're going to make our four legs by cutting down the center so that we make four equal sized little short legs. Now they won't be absolutely perfect, but you'll get fairly close if you follow that method. Next step is to make the head. So I'm going to take my third cork and cut it in half. <laughs> and what you want to do is cut out a small groove in the head so that it will slot nicely onto the body. It's kind of difficult to describe this, so watching it is probably your best bet. You're basically cutting out a small rectangle and rounding that off a little bit just so the head will slot nicely onto the body and that's where we're going to place the glue. And hold down firmly for a couple of seconds to make sure that the glue is dry and the head of your cork reindeer is attached to the body. Bring back your four little legs and repeat the same process, gluing each leg onto your reindeer body at the front and the back. I think the tidiest way to do this is to have the rounded part of the cork facing outward and the cut parts facing in. It seems to look slightly more like an authentic leg shape. And it is ready to move on to our next step. For the antlers, I'm going to use a black pipe cleaner. Black is all I had at home, but you can absolutely use brown or tan or really any color antlers that you like. And to make two equal sized and even antlers, I'm going to fold the pipe cleaner about an inch the way down. I'm going to repeat that twice. So that is the main part of your antler. And then you can cut off those two equal sized one inch pieces. So to make the rest of our antlers, I'm going to take that same pipe cleaner and wrap it around, just cutting it at one side. The way I would describe it is to make it sort of look like a snowman arm. And you can go ahead and wrap the pipe cleaner around again, just underneath to make a really authentic looking antler shape. Repeat the exact same steps for your second antler. And once you have them both made, you can go ahead and glue them onto the back of the head of your cork reindeer. Next up, I'm going to grab a small-ish white pom-pom and I'm going to glue that onto the back of my little cork reindeer and that will be its little tail. And repeating the same steps with a larger red pom-pom or again, any color of your choice to make a super adorable, boofable red nose. I think the trickiest part of this entire DIY reindeer process is actually the eyes. I'm actually using some tiny little black beads that I had used on a sewing project years ago when I was in school. And I think they work really nicely for the eyes for this project. And our final detail is to grab some scrap ribbon and to add a little tiny reindeer bow collar around the neck of your reindeer. I think this is a great craft to use up all of those materials that you have lying around your house and to take something that is wasteful and make something really pretty and festive and get into the spirit of Christmas with all of the family. If you liked the video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also, please don't forget to hit subscribe. And if you try and make this craft yourself at home, don't forget to tag me in all of my social media. I would love to see your versions of a tiny Christmas zero waste DIY cork reindeer. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.